show. Because I saw your second gig. I know you did a gig in between. You did a sort of private gig. But I went to... Did I tell you this? Have I ever told you that I went to the screen in the green to see The Clash, The Sex Pistols and The Buzzcocks? I was 16. Changed my life. But I've, somehow I've, I've sadly erased uh, Keith Levine from, from my memory because I, I d didn't remember it was a five piece. What I do remember yeah. is when you came on and you came on after the Buzzcocks is you had boiler suits on with paint splattered like Jackson Pollock all over That's it. it yep. And your legs were so wide apart, akimbo. Yes. And it just looked, and the guitars were so low. And it was the most <laughs> exciting thing I'd seen since then. Yeah. Well, well you, you have to stand like that with a bass. It's bloody heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way you Are understand. you taking notes? <laughs> I'm taking it. I've been taking notes for years, mate. <laughs> uh, but it was, it, was, it was extraordinary for me. I got invited along by Steve. I'm going to tell this story quickly. Go on, so you, by, can, by, say, by, so you by, can tell it to him. What happened is, is the <laughs> assistant manager of the screen on the green was a, was a guy who used to work at our school, Steve Woolley. He, he used to go to our school. And, uh, and he said, you've got he to come along Steve to Woolley. this. And he, he became Steve Woolley. He did the Palace Pictures. And... Uh, and of course, the Buzzcocks came on, which were great, you know, but they were still about art school, you know. Um, but it was you when you walked on that that look, that energy. I had a lot of glam rock feel to it in in many ways, but it was also the sort of you you were pretending you didn't care, but you really fucking cared. Well, we yeah. cared about staying in tune, that's for sure. Um, I know because I've heard the t I listened to the tape the other day. There's lots of tuning up at the beginning, which I didn't remember. Yeah, well, I I, had, I was lucky because I had Mick to help me tune up. Mick would come over and tune the bass for me. So, But what was odd about that gig? If people look back and imagine punk of everyone po going around and going crazy. They weren't. People were just sit, 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 seating. Sit, yeah, no, people seated. were sitting down like they was at the cinema. Massaging or their or at <laughs> 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 But it was, it was a strange kind of audience to play in front of. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the, um, I think the Buzzcocks, um, they were amazing. And I remember we did some quite early shows with them. Probably around about the time that you're talking of. And uh, they came on as the support band and, and they had like Mondrian shirts. Oh, right. That's right. Brilliant. That's a, and yeah, then we yeah. came on with the Jackson Pollock shirt. So it's like, oh, this is neat. But it's true, but it's always art, isn't it? That's the funny that runs through it. It's that whole art school. And it got, you know, from Bowie and the Who through Roxy and everything. You know, it's always art. It's yeah. always art. Well,